big welcome back. Mado, Dekel, Dork. I get some really interesting orders sometimes, and the uh, order that I'm just busy with here at the moment is going to um, Vili, the Sabusha. So Vili tells me that he was nine years old, and he was playing around at, at the farm there, and he was getting in trouble, and he was putting the t- putting tilapia in the bath. And uh, yes, he got in trouble, eh? So his mom screamed at him, Billy, get these fish out here. The old Billy went and he, he catch the fish and he, he let them go. Then he come to his dad later. He tell his dad, hey, dad, you know, fish swim with their heads. And the old man looks at him and he knows Brian Davy. The old man knows Brian Davy, Mida, Mr. Mida. So next thing, Billy at nine years old is off to Nomad's Skibo Club and he's watching Brian Davy give a lecture on his thesis as how a fish swims with his head. Swims with his head because this is the cross looking down. Because as he moves his head, it makes a high pressure and a low pressure and a high pressure and a low pressure. And then the, and the, the tail is this way and the head is this way. So he just moves forward. So every time he does this, he creates an aileron effect, like an airplane, <coughs> airplane's wing. And that's how come big fish can go much faster because it's hydraulic, hydraulic power that they're using. They use their heads, they don't flap their tails to move. Now, Billy phones me up and he's checked out the new concave miters. And he's very happy about this thing. So am I, by the way. And he ordered a lot because these guys fish very technical up there. In fact, he tells me they use number three wire. I thought the German eyes were hardcore using number four, but number three. So obviously they fish quite light. And so he, he ordered a lot of the baby mido. I know that you can hardly see it. It's tiny. It's a half ounce. I mean a quarter ounce, sorry. See how concave it is. You can't see how concave it is, I know. Billy, there's eight of those or war, whatever it is. And then this is the probably the one you're gonna use the most of. This is half ounce. Uh, you can see the concave in the in the blade. That makes it swim better. So yeah, these are bait swimmers. If anyone doesn't know what a bait swimmer is, these things impart an action to your plastic or your bait. They're not just like a chin weight or these are actually hydrodynamically designed by Mr. Brian Davy. These things won the 1990 Cullinan Design Award for Engineering Excellence. Yeah, my days. Okay, moving up the scale. I did show you that beautiful number. Uh, this is the uh, one ounce, one ounce. But it comes in different shapes and uh, forms. This one is for going slow and deep. And then you've got a more of a bullet shaped one over here. Also got an ounce, but that's for going fast. Like this is the ideal for a half peak. And you put it on the inside rigger clip and go. And when something takes the outside rigger, whatever, these things drop down and they become swim baits and they get to, that's how you get multiple strikes. So double functioning your, your, your spread. So when, you're, when your boat stops, it's still, everything's still working. Okay, moving up the line, we have got these delightful uh, two ounces. Now that thing, uh, you can see our concave, eh? Now that thing can swim a big bunny or a shad, something big, like a walla walla. <coughs> and um, I do make them bigger, but just for the sake of old times, I've included an old style mido in here, so that really can ever look at the differences. This is a great thing. But it doesn't really swim because it's so heavy. It's like it's overweight. It's overweight, you know. So um, it makes a bait swim like her, but it doesn't itself swim like this. Mario, these ones here, yeah, yeah. the one that's in the picture now is here. We go. Is this guy here? No, wait. Ah, there it is. The one that's in the in the movie. So this one's. Um, once again, it's designed to go quite a lot faster. And I had that thing rigged in the front so that it didn't go down because I was trying to catch a bullfish or a dorado on that, on that day. So the thing is, they're different weights in the same form factor or different form factors in the same weight because they perform different functions. This is what bait swimming is. It's working out the exact right speed, what kind of bait you've got on there. You know, obviously a live bait is easy, but when, they, when you're trying to make a dead bait look like a live bait, you've got to get everything right. Bait swimming is an absolute art, something that you can really get enveloped in and enjoy and become an expert at. And you can even find that you'll end up using a tiny little bait swimmer sometimes to swim a sardine, because that's all you need, especially when the Dorado are around. 
and you can sometimes you'll find you'll be using a monster with a sardine because you want to get down to the yellow tap or whatever it is that are down there, the amateur jacks or whatever. But okay, so Billy, there's your tray of lures. I can't wait to uh, to hear your reaction, and I can't wait to see what you catch with this. But yeah, this is ideal for fishing number three Y and for fishing extra light, ultra light for um, in that clean water because they've got such clean water in up there where those guys are. All right, thank you for watching. Please don't forget to like and subscribe and bye. <laughs>